Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Lori Turner, a partner at FASKIN, and together with Lynn Golding, serve as the chair of FASKIN's Health Law Group. Together with me today, I have our new counsel, Christine Elliott. So as most of you know, Christine served as the Provincial Minister of Health, commencing in 2018 and serving in that role until earlier this year. We thank Christine for the central role that she played in the effort to protect our collective health during the pandemic in that capacity and welcome her again to FASKIN. So Christine started her role with FASKIN earlier this month and previous to joining FASKIN and while serving as the Minister of Health of the province, Christine also served as Deputy Premier of the province from 2018 to 2022. She was first elected to the provincial legislature in 2006 and returned in 2007, 2011, 2014, and 2018. Christine also served as Ontario's first patient ombudsman from 2016 to 2018. Uh, as many of you are also likely aware, Christine is a lawyer by trade. She graduated from the University of Western Ontario Law School and practiced for several years before entering public service. In her new role at the firm, Christine's focus will be on supporting clients in the healthcare, life sciences, and technology sectors. So thanks so much for being here with us today, Christine. Um, maybe I'll just, without further ado, launch into the first question I have for you. Sure. Um, well, our viewers are undoubtedly aware of your work in the political space. Um, can you share with us uh, what your work will look like and the support that you're going to offer clients in your new role at the firm? Well, first, let me just say that I'm really very happy to have joined the Faskin team. It's a wonderful firm with excellent lawyers, and uh, I really look forward to uh, doing whatever I can to support existing clients and also help to uh, bring in some new clients. I have had a uh, a unique perspective, I guess one could say, in the work that I did in health. And I, I do know how government views uh, some uh, new propositions that come forward to them, the things that they concentrate on. Uh, I can offer some suggestions on things that clients might want to emphasize if they're approaching government, and maybe some things that um, are not as important. But I also know uh, what government needs to and what government is looking for, the supports that they need. And I know that uh, there are many uh, FASCAN clients that are able to provide good services, ideas, uh, whatever it might be. And so I uh, look forward to uh, working with, with you and with Lynn and the rest of the team to bring those ideas forward to, to allow uh, FASCAN clients to be successful, but also to make sure that the people of Ontario benefit as well when government takes those ideas up. Great. Thank you so much. Um, and with our student recruitment process coming up in the next few weeks, uh, one of the most common questions that we get as lawyers uh, from the students we interview is why we chose FASKIN as the place to practice. Are you able to tell me a little bit about why you selected a law firm generally, uh, and then FASKIN in particular to kick off the next stage of your, your career? Well, I would say generally, uh, having been a lawyer for more years than I really care to remember. Uh, it seems almost like coming home to me because I, I did start as a practicing lawyer and it, uh, it seems uh, sort of a natural way for me to, um, to move forward in the next phase of my career. But as far as Faskin is concerned, I do know that the firm has an, an excellent reputation. It has very, very talented lawyers and uh, with a large health law practice, which is something that I did develop some expertise in over the last four years in particular. And so it seems like a, a very, very good fit for me. Great. Thanks so much. Christine, you've had such an interesting and successful career so far. Can you share with us a bit about your career trajectory? Sure. It's, um, well, I guess some people would say I, I can't hold a job because I've done almost everything <laughs> that uh, is possible as a lawyer and, and as a politician. But I did start out as a, as a practicing lawyer. I then moved and worked for the, um, the Ombudsman of Ontario for several years. And then I worked as a, a bank auditor for about four years. And uh, it wasn't, I 
I then returned to practicing law, but it wasn't really until um, after my my late husband, who had been the uh, provincial member for Whitby, Oshawa, decided to run federally, that there was an opening provincially, and I didn't think it would be good for our marriage if I decided to uh, take him on and challenge him for the nomination as a provincial member. So I decided that I would uh, try and uh, be elected because of my volunteer work more than anything else. I had the opportunity for a number of years to work as a volunteer on our uh, local community mental health um, organizations board. I also served as uh, a representative on our Children's Treatment Center board and um, helped raise the money for the local hospital foundation. But I also had the opportunity to work a lot with differently abled people, which um, led to my involvement with the Ability Center in Whitby. And it was really because of my uh, my passion for all of those things and seeing some of the gaps and wanting to be helpful and addressing some of those gaps and make the system better for the people that use it that got me into provincial politics. And, uh, and I've always had health as a focus um, ever since. I, I, I'm not a health practitioner, of course, but it has been an area that it has uh, really interested me and, of course, challenged me significantly over the last four years in particular. Great. Now, we all bring to the table our unique experiences and insights. Um, we've talked about your political career and the various roles that you've held. Can you tell us how you think those experiences and insights are going to be of assistance to you uh, in your new role here at the firm and also to our clients? Well, yes, I think that um, there were two major things that um, I, I was involved with uh, in, um, in, in health. One was uh, the uh, transformation of our healthcare system from one that was reliant on the 14 health integration networks and the, and the movement into Ontario Health with local Ontario Health teams and combining both physical health and mental health. That was something that we were undertaking uh, before um, the uh, COVID pandemic hit. And then with COVID, of course, you had to learn to move uh, very quickly and address uh, problems, challenges, and, uh, and find solutions, which meant that you had to really work as a team very quickly to analyze a, a situation, understand exactly what the problem was, uh, devise solutions, recognizing that in many cases, when you find a solution in one area, it can cause um, problems or challenges in other areas, uh, but uh, anticipating that and being ready to deal with that. It was also really important to move very quickly too. So I, I, I believe that I have uh, that as a background that I'm able to um, analyze situations. I, I love, love working with other team players and um, working with clients. So I think that all of those experiences and the, the, uh, the, the work that I did in the past four years, having to move quickly and decisively uh, will hopefully be of advantage to FASCN clients in the future. Great. Thanks so much. Um, so given your significant knowledge of the healthcare space, what do you see as uh, first some significant issues that might be facing the sector at this time? And then also on a more positive note, perhaps uh, what are some areas of opportunity again that you see for the healthcare sector at this time? Well, I think some of the challenges we've seen uh, pretty uh, clearly in the last short while, one is that uh, there's a, a serious issue with health human resources. And that's not something that, that money can change because it takes time for um, a qualified health person to be, uh, to be trained. Uh, so I think that's definitely a challenge, but I think that there are um, organizations out there that can be helpful that we would love to work with to be able to bring some solutions to government to help with that. I think that uh, there's also a challenge in um, long-term care as well uh, in terms of, of having people be in the right place at the right time to get the care that they need. And uh, the government is building more spaces, but they uh, of course have to be the right spaces and the ones best suited for people's needs. And again, uh, there are many FASCAN clients that know how to do this and uh, 
are in a position to bring forward some solutions to government as well. But I think there are lots of opportunities uh, in many areas. One is in the area of technology, uh, having a, a connected system of care for people, which means in many cases that you have to use technology to connect not just the um, the. the uh, frontline uh, professional who's doing the, the family doctor, but people often have other uh, professionals working with them, be it specialists, uh, dietitians, physiotherapists, pharmacists, so many others. So I think there's a lot of opportunity in that technology space, uh, but also there are some wonderful innovations that are coming forward. And I think that after the COVID experience where we started doing things differently because we had to. Now we can do things because we want to, that we can see that it can result in uh, better patient-focused care. And so I think some of the old ways of doing things, we don't have to rely on anymore. So I, I, I'm very excited about it. I think it's a great time for uh, people who have these great ideas that uh, I want to um, offer whatever expertise I can to them as FASCAN clients so that they can bring those ideas forward for the benefit of the people of Ontario to help truly create a patient-centered system of care. And I think that's something that we all want. And there's many opportunities for many people and many organizations to be part of it. And I hope to uh, help them to be able to bring that forward as part of the FASCAN team. Great. So you've been with the firm for a few weeks now. Um, are there any surprises or uh, lessons that you've learned already that you want to tell us about? I would say all good surprises. Uh, everyone has been extremely warm and welcoming. It's a fabulous team. I think uh, from my own perspective, though, I really need to work uh, very hard on learning all of the systems so that I can use them all uh, very capably. But I am uh, being trained by some great people. But Faskin is uh, just a, a wonderful place to work. And, and I'm so grateful to be here. Great. So we've heard about uh, you, the lawyer, and you, the politician. Can you tell us more about Christine Elliott outside of work? What are your main areas of focus outside of the work hours? Oh, well, I, I would say primarily my, my family. Um, I have... Uh, uh, three sons uh, who are triplets and one's getting married next month. So I've been rather busy with um, wedding arrangements lately, but I would say generally speaking, I um, whatever spare time I have, I'm trying to uh, work on, on fitness. I think all of those zoom calls I had over several years as minister of health uh, uh, caught up with me a little bit. So I'm trying to, uh, to deal with that. And, uh, and I'm also now uh, um, taking bridge lessons because I'm trying to be mentally as well as physically fit. So that takes up most of my private time. Great. And you spoke earlier a little bit about your work with uh, not-for-profit organizations. Is that still something that you continue to be involved with? Yes. For the period of time that I was um, Minister of Health, I was not able to um, participate as a volunteer on any of those organizations, but there are a number that are still of great interest to me, uh, working with um, differently abled uh, children and adults, uh, working with people that have mental health and substance abuse channels, uh, challenges, sorry. All of those are, are still really important to me and I hope to become re-engaged now that I am uh, no longer part of government, but uh, that's what's got me into politics in the first place. And that's something that I hope to return to. Great. Thanks so much, Christine. Thanks for joining us today and giving us the opportunity uh, to hear more about your past career and uh, your future ambitions at the firm. Um, we look forward uh, to you joining us in future webinars and events at the firm. Um, so for those of you who wanted to reach out to Christine, you can, of course, find her uh, on the Faskin website. So thanks again to everyone for joining us, and uh, we hope to see you all soon. Thanks very much. <laughs>